power steering noise, that whiny, groany sound you hear as you turn the wheel left to right and back again. What causes it and how do you repair it? That's the topic of this edition of The Trainer. If you said low fluid level, you'd almost be right. Low fluid allows air to enter the system much the same way it does in an engine's cooling system. And it's the air that actually causes the noise. Why is it important to differentiate between the two? Because there will be times when you're dealing with a power steering noise complaint and you'll find that the fluid reservoir is full, there's no sign of external leaks, no sign of air in the system anywhere. Here's how to find out for sure. Use vacuum to test the sealing integrity of the power steering system. Use the adapters that come with most vacuum hand pumps or make one using an old reservoir cap, even an old rubber bathtub stopper. A little imagination goes a long way. Attach the vacuum pump to the reservoir and apply 20 inches of mercury, then wait a few minutes. If there's a leak, the vacuum will drop almost immediately. Now once you've identified that there is a way for air to enter the system, focus your attention on the low side or return side of the power steering hoses. This is typically where you'll find the problem and often all it's going to take is a turn or two of a hose clamp to cure the problem. There may be though some cases where you'll have to do a little more detective work to isolate the cause. Always be sure to check the service information for the vehicle you're working on for any applicable technical service bulletins like the one I found for this Acura. This car would only whine when cold and it was caused by a 50 cent o-ring at the feed line going to the pump. A new seal, a little fluid, and the customer's problem was corrected. Now vacuum is also a great way to bleed the air out of the system after you've performed a major repair on it. On some cars, in fact, if you don't get the air out before you start spinning that pump, well, you'll destroy the new pump very quickly. To bleed the system after repair, start by filling the reservoir with the correct fluid. Fill it only halfway to allow for the fluid rise you'll see as the air underneath works its way out. Apply the same 20 inches of vacuum and let the tool sit for five minutes. If the vacuum bleeds off quickly, there's a leak that needs to be identified and repaired. But it's normal though for there to be a loss of an inch or two. After five minutes, and inspect and adjust the fluid level to keep the reservoir half full. Repeat the vacuum application. Continue until the fluid level stabilizes. Now top the fluid level off to the cold mark on the cap or the side of the reservoir. Finish off the job by starting the engine and turning the steering wheel left to right and back again 10 times. Verify the fluid is full and there are no signs of air bubbles or foam and you're done. Hey, that'll do it for this edition of The Trainer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.